The District of Columbia is one of the areas hardest hit by HIV with an infection rate of 2.7 percent, a rate comparable to some developing nations. But to prevent the disease, one group is raising eyebrows, taking its work to the streets. They're testing teens and young adults and revealing their results on public sidewalks. In Metro Center, the Norfolk-based organization Teenage Peer Corps turned a public sidewalk into an outdoor health clinic, testing teens and young adults for HIV. Uh, the FDA approved this uh, in 2012 for anyone 17 and older to buy and use on their own, without doctor's prescription, without a parent's permission. The group hopes this free testing will raise awareness and reduce stigma associated with HIV. Because it's, oh, it's good to know your status every chance you get, and it's free. 24 year old medical student Ashley Bryant got tested here and with parent permission 15 year old Caden Gerard got tested too. There's nothing shameful about getting tested about a virus that could kill you. It might be legal but is public HIV testing ethical? Executive Director Dr. John Chittick says he's always on site but his youth volunteers are not medical or mental health professionals and while none of the participants at this location tested positive, what if they had? Do you have any concerns that maybe you're not prepared to handle that situation? Well, sometimes, but my uncle, he has AIDS and HIV, and he takes medicine, so I like to use that as a way to tell people that they're not the only one out there that has it. The teen AIDS group emphasizes that with or shore tests, there's always a small chance of a false positive, but they're ready to provide resources and referrals for follow-up testing and counseling. At least they know that they have to investigate this farther and that this is something that they could be diagnosed with. Doctors recommend that sexually active individuals get tested for HIV at least once a year. And Whitman Walker Health, which specializes in testing and treating HIV, says that should come with pre- and post-test counseling. Meanwhile, the D.C. Department of Health says testing should ideally happen in a clinical setting, but a public setting is certainly better than an individual not knowing his or her status.